Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today I'm going to have a look at the Skywatcher Heritage 150p flex tube telescope. Very popular and lightweight this telescope and at the time of doing this video uh, we currently still do have a, a few left in stock. So this one is a 6 inch Newtonian reflector. Uh, it's a 150mm mirror. It's a F5 750mm focal length which makes it the same optical assembly as the for example the Skywatcher um, 6 inch Newtonian reflector that comes on an EQ3 mount. So this is a flex tube or a collapsible, collapsible Dobsonian telescope and here you can see the mount. So it is ideal for putting on the tabletop or if you were to put it on the floor and sit down and have a look at the stars rather than stand up. So as mentioned this is a flex tube and so that is it in its folded up position. So I'll just slacken off here behind or next to the finder scope and this little wheel here and you can then move it out and that is in its fully open position. Now this design has a few advantages when it's collapsed down it's very easy to transport around, very lightweight and um, when you're putting it outside because air circulating better within the tube probably the cooling down period of time is less but also if you like prime focus photography whether it be with a CCD or a DSLR um, which I'll come on to in a second the normal usual problem with, with this sort of telescope is you have to somehow reduce the length of the tube by move, using the collimation, collimation screws moving the mirror up or by using a Barlow lens but with this telescope all you need to do is just slacken off here and move, move it down just a, just a fraction maybe half an inch and you should then be able to get prime focus but beware that the focus here it is a basic plastic construction so so be uh, aware in case you are using a big heavy DSLR that could cause um, some structural issues and, and definitely some extra shake. So this telescope it comes with the usual modified achromatics that you get with most Skywatcher telescopes of 10mm and 25 giving you sensible, mag sensible magnifications of 26 and 65 times. I say sensible because it never ceases to amaze me why so so many telescopes come with ridiculously high powered eyepieces to get you started, many of which aren't really of that good quality and the first thing you do when you get some telescopes is to change the eyepieces but these are really good eyepieces to get you started. It's not all about magnification believe me and uh, this telescope will open your eyes to the wonders of the night sky and you, you'll quickly realise that there is more to look at in the night sky than the Moon, Jupiter and Saturn. With this telescope from dark skies and with it being ultra portable that will not be a problem. You'll be able to put it in the back seat and go wherever you want. Be ideal for looking at rich field areas like uh, Cygnus and Perseus and you'll be able to see the brighter galaxies, nebula and many star clusters but also a number of colourful double stars. So it really is a, an, a good good starter telescope. It's With it being a uh, Newtonian you do get an upside down image but don't worry about that because all stars and planets are round anyway. Um, if I were to pick one slight issue um, well the, it's a helical focuser so to focus you twist rather than use a rack and pinion and some people are okay with that others are not and I also found that when it's folded down if you're outside and you've got gloves on this little screw here it's, it's a little bit tricky to put your hands around when it's folded down because the finder scope is right up against it so but that, that's just a minor gripe but but um, very minor, it, it won't distract you from the wonderful experience you get using this telescope. So as always, 
Thank you very much for watching and please check out the link in the description below.